Oh, I've just ripped a wingtip. Nice. Go around. You're not going to make it. I'll go around. your mm. See? Easy. Done. Like a like a glove. Camex will fix it in 30 seconds, mate. Trust me. I'm a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer by trade. No, they won't. Update winged lines. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, also a Happy New Year and all that other crap. But as it is the festive season, War Thunder has put in a new hangar. And today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an interesting aircraft at least. <sighs> it's nice to be celebrating something for once. And uh, Girls and Entertainment seem to be celebrating a little too much. Ready? I'm going to show you. I just caught a glimpse of her just there. You ready? Ready for this. Watch this. She's a little bit out of focus, but uh, I don't think I have to really put her in focus. Uh, yeah, someone in the dev team has been rather uh, busy, let me just say that. To the point where there is even this one just standing on the water's edge. And if I go further along, there is two of them sitting in a boat playing rock, paper, scissors. What a festive time it is to be. Although, man, <laughs> it's the best one that I uh, conceivably can think about is get ready for this santa claus sitting in a chair on a barge basically doing nothing like he's borderline suicidal meanwhile some girls are playing you know rock paper scissors in a boat full of presents yeah you okay santa he probably just respond with leave me alone i'm fishing but yeah <laughs> festivities right but today we're not taking a look at this thing or any of the other premiums in fact we are taking a look at the top tier Basically Mirage, and of course I will do a playthrough of some of the Israeli stuff. I'm not necessarily too excited for it. So we're going to take a look at the C7. If you, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, 11.0. It's got 30 mil Davis. It is a Mirage in the Mirage meta. It does perform a little bit better than a Mirage. Essentially, the only difference is it has a J79 engine strapped into the back of the thing, and it is dead drop gorgeous though. Other than that, there isn't really a great deal for you to really experience in this thing. Only aim 9 gs and only, you know, that's that's about it, really. You don't really need to know anything else. X-ray, nothing too much going on there. And there is a radar on the front. You can slave your aim 9 gs if you really want to. But again, nothing to write home about. Quickly on the modifications. There you go. That's the modification screen. Aim 9 D's and G's. Of course, you do get access to the Israelis at Sophia's. And that's really all to write home. You don't really have a lot aside from the Aim 9 D's and the G's, which honestly is a little disappointing. They're more like critical hit and assist simulator missiles. But hey, that's my experience in this thing so far. Now, I'm not going to admit that this thing isn't exactly the greatest when it comes to ordnance. I feel like it might need some other things. However, it has a decent enough airframe that you can basically get kills casually, I suppose. Although, I find this to be a bit of a critical uh, hit simulator in terms of you know, offensive ordnance. It's fast enough, but again, it sort of fits that Mirage meta. You know, I got a critical hit on that vehicle there. It's not going to be too much gameplay. After all, I uh, really don't like playing this thing. It does not fit in well with the current way that top tier plays. You can do amazing things with this, but again, it's going to take a Mirage pilot in a current meta where you know, phantoms are everywhere and you are basically the underdog. Granted, I'm not exactly the most skilled player, so I might revisit this at a later date. In fact, I am going to revisit it at a later date. But first and foremost, there is going to be more uh, coverage on some of the, the other Israeli stuff for now. As you can see here, uh, yeah, not exactly making the, the most proud choices out there. So don't make mistakes by going too slow and low. You take a hit, that engine basically blows up. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't Who buy is? the missiles. Yeah, if you want to, you've got, you've got you go. right, Carried by who? Me, bro. Bro, I'd love to see you do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I don't even care. I'm a shit pilot, and I admit it. Ten gifted. I get oh. more kills than you. Ten Whoa. gifted. 
10 gifted? All right, now you're talking. That's not hard. Can I tell you, Kelly? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Is it? Wait. <laughs> Missile on you, Spice? Oh, so you're saying about those 10 gifted subs, right? Huh? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've already got one! <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I just joined. So, yeah, it's fun with your friends. And if you can get a squad together, it's even the better. But look at this missile launch. Like, it just diverts like that. I wasn't even pointed at the angle. Like, it was super stupid. Something's funky with the missiles at the moment. Uh, I think because the missile rails actually point 30 degrees lower than your actual gun sight, that can be a little confusing. The best way to launch missiles on this thing, I find, is to fire it upside down. And even then, that's limited success. This thing is great 1v1, provided you don't have enemy targets behind you, because this thing is very maneuverable. But in a team fight, this thing does tend to struggle. Even if you're in a squad uh, with a bunch of mates, it kind of can become a bit troublesome in some regard. That's okay, though. It's a fun aircraft, and if you happen to pick it up, let me know. Otherwise, that is the Kefir C7. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, cheerio. Bye-bye.